Swinburne University of Technology. Hello and welcome to this podcast in which we're going to look at installing the tools you need for introductory programming in macOS. Okay, on macOS there isn't that much you need to install so this shouldn't take too long. What we're going to have a look at is installing Xcode. Uh, once we have Xcode installed, we'll install the free Pascal compiler. We're going to use Pascal for the first part of this unit. And so this is the compiler that will compile those programs for us. We will then install Sublime Text, inside which we'll install the package control utility and a tool to export to HTML. This will enable us to print our code to uh, to PDF quite easily because Sublime Text doesn't include printing to PDF by default. Once we've done that, we'll show you how all these tools work together uh, in order to create a small Hello World program. All right, let's get started. First of all, what you're going to need to do is install Xcode. Uh, we're not actually going to use Xcode directly, but it has all of the development tools that you need on macOS. So to start installing Xcode, open up the App Store and search for Xcode. When you've located that, uh, you'll need to, it's free, so you can need to purchase it for free, uh, and then download and install it. Now that'll take a little while, so I'll, I'll skip over that, but just wait for it to download and install. All right, once the install has finished, what we need to do is open up Xcode so that it can finalize its, its installation. So you'll need to accept a few things. Once that's done, uh, wait for the install and close Xcode. We're not actually gonna need to use Xcode directly. All right, to finish off the install, we need to set up the command line tools. So open terminal. If you go up to uh, the spotlight window, so if you just click the magnifying glass at the top right corner, that's probably, or, or command space on the keyboard, that's probably the easiest way to execute your programs. So if you type in here, uh, terminal, you'll see the terminal program. Select that or press enter on the terminal program. And this will open the terminal. And this is where we can execute command line instructions. Now the command line instruction we need to set up the Xcode tools is Xcode minus select, all one word, space minus minus install. So this, tell, this runs a program called Xcode select and tells it to install. So minus minus install. Uh, is an option to the Xcode select program and it tells it to set up the command line environment. That'll pop up a window and you can click through those prompts uh, and it will go ahead and install the command line environment. So wait for that and then we'll move on to install the next tool. The next thing we need to install is the free Pascal compiler. As I said, we're going to be using Pascal at the start of the unit in order to compile the programs we create using the Pascal programming language. So you should have a disk image, a free Pascal disk image. If you open that disk image, inside it you'll see a package file, which is an installer. Double click that. Uh, what you actually might need to do, because it's, if it's not signed, uh, right click it and choose open, uh, and then you're verifying that you know what you're doing. Uh, click open again, and it will uh, open or start the installer. Uh, follow the prompts, just click through those, and it will go ahead and install the Free Pascal compiler. That's all we need to do for that one. Next, we need to install Sublime Text. Now, this is going to be our text editor. Once again, this will be in a disk image, so 
open the disk image. And to install this, it's the same way you install most applications in macOS. You just drag the Sublime Text application onto your applications folder, uh, authenticate if you need to, and we're done. So installing Sublime Text is, is super simple. Now, we need to run Sublime Text in order to install package control, which is the, the next thing we're going to look at installing. To open Sublime Text, once again, the easiest way to do that is just to click Spotlight, so Command Space, or click the, the magnifying glass at the top right corner, and just type S-U-B-L, the start of Sublime Text, and you should see Sublime Text in the options there. You can press Enter or click it, and it will open Sublime Text. And we're ready to install the next tool. Okay, now to install package control. Open your web browser and search for Sublime Text Package Control. When you get the Google page that lists that, it should show you the installation page directly. Go straight to that page, save a bit of time. And, and what we can do is if you scroll down, you can see that it gives you some code that you need to run in order to install package control. So it's actually really simple. If you just copy that text, just select it all, right click and copy or Control C, Command C, etc., to copy, then switch back to Sublime Text. And from view, show the console. And this is where we can type some commands directly. So if we paste that command into that, wind, that little text box down the bottom there, press enter, then it will install package control. So it's not too hard. You've just got to wait a little bit. Uh, once it seems to have installed correctly, this one doesn't show you much progress, but it'll take a few, maybe a minute or two to install. Once it's done, uh, you've got package control installed. So hide the console and we can now use package control to install another, another package. So package control is a utility that lets us install what are called packages inside Sublime Text. And these packages add extra features to the text editor. And the one that we need is the feature that allows us to export our code to HTML. One thing that Sublime Text doesn't have is the ability to print things directly. So what we're gonna do is export our code to HTML and then use your web browser to print it to a PDF file, which you can then submit uh, as part of your, your weekly assessment for the unit. All right, so inside Sublime Text, to run the different commands inside Sub Sublime Text, what we do is hold down three keys. On Mac, you need to hold down Command Shift P. With those keys held down, it'll pop up a little box into which you can type the command that you want to execute. So we're going to use package controls install package command. We could type any part of that. Probably the easiest bit is to type install. So type install and you should see the option package control install package. Select that and press enter. That will run that command. This brings up another menu once it's updated the packages and that menu allows you to select which package you want to install. So you can have a look through there. There's heaps of stuff that you can install. It's a Sublime Text is a really great text editor to use. In this case, we want the export HTML package. So type export and you should be able to see export HTML. Uh, select that, press enter, and it will go ahead and install the export HTML package. You can, you can see the progress this time down the bottom left. So that's nice. You'll see that install. We're all done. We'll show you how to use this in a minute when we do uh, a walkthrough of the, of the language and the tools. All right, now we can use all of this stuff we've installed to create a program. So open Sublime Text and we can create a new file and we'll save it as hello world.pas. PAS stands for Pascal and that will tell Sublime Text that this is Pascal code and it will syntax highlight that uh, with that language, with the rules for that language. One thing to make sure you do is don't put a space. So it's not hello space world, it's hello world, one word, dot PAS. So it's all just one word. Uh, the terminal and lots of programs you run from the terminal 
you know, are difficult to, to work with if there are spaces in file names or spaces in path names. Uh, so avoid spaces pretty much for all file names. All right, I'm gonna save mine into the desktop, but you might wanna save yours into a documents, my documents folder or something like that. All right, we can now type in our program's code. And as you do this, you should see this, the, the text editor highlighting different parts of the text in different colors. Uh, this is because it understands the Pascal programming language and can therefore use that to give you some feedback on how you're going. So this program is program hello world, semicolon. We then have begin. I usually put the end in straight away. The end matches the begin. So we start at the begin, we end at the end, put a full stop at the end, uh, and we will run one instruction, which is to call the write line procedure. So we type write line, write ln, no spaces notice, open brackets, and then in single quotes, we'll put the text hello world exclamation mark, close bracket, semicolon. So that tells, well, that's our instructions to the compiler for what we want the program to do when it creates it. All right, now we've got our code, save that file. Uh, use Control S or Command S on Mac. Uh, alternatively from the file menu, but get used to the shortcut keys, it'll save you time. All right, now that file's saved, we need to compile the program. So you need to do this from the terminal. So open the terminal. On Windows, use uh, msys uh, or the mingw terminal. And we need to cd to the location where you've saved the files. So I'm gonna cd to my desktop. On Linux or Mac OS, it would just be cd space forward slash users forward slash akane forward slash desktop. And I can just usually shortcut that on, on Linux and on Mac just by using CD desktop as I'll start in the users akane directory. All right, now let's use the compiler to compile our program. Run fpc space minus s2. That's an uppercase s, not a lowercase one. Uppercase s2 and hello world dot pass. Right, that tells the compiler to run or to run itself. So we're running the compiler. The dash s2 gives it uh, options to tell it how we want it to compile the file. And s2 stands for a more advanced version of the syntax. So syntax 2, not, not the basic syntax, but the more advanced syntax. And hello world.pass is the file that we're going to compile. So it's going to compile the hello world.pass file and create a program for us. So when that runs, you can see we've got a hello world executable created on my desktop. So we can run that from the terminal dot forward slash hello world and press enter. You could double click the file as well, but the terminal window will probably close straight away so you won't actually see what it's done. So it's easier to run it in this terminal. Okay, so that's creating a program, compiling it. The other thing that you'll need to do as part of the, the subject or part of the, a unit will be to submit code. And when we submit the code, what we're going to want is a PDF version of the code so that we can annotate it to give you feedback, etc. So go back to Sublime Text and press Control Shift P on Windows and Linux or Command Shift P on Mac OS. And this will bring up that menu of commands that we can tell Sublime Text. And we want to select the export to HTML command. So type export and you should be able to see an option called export to HTML show export menu. Select that one. And then we're going to, you get a list of options. Uh, I'll select uh, browser view color on Mac and Windows or sublime view color on Linux. So with Mac and, and Windows, that will actually open up your code as HTML in the browser, which is really cool. It will have all the syntax highlighting, will have line numbers for your fancy, all singing or dancing, etc. Uh, and we can then print that to a PDF. All right, to print our code to PDF, what we need to do is switch back to, or switch to the Safari browser and we can now print it by choosing File Print. 
And from here, if you notice down the bottom left, you can see a PDF button. If you choose PDF, save as PDF, this is available on all print dialogues in Mac OS. So you can print anything to PDF, it's really simple. So PDF, save as PDF, uh, enter the file name that you want and choose the destination, desktop for example, and click save. And that will go ahead and create a PDF for us. Presto, we have a PDF copy of our code, nicely syntax highlighted, etc. And that PDF file is what you would submit uh, in order to get feedback. All right, we're done. So we've had a look at all of the tools that you need to install, and you've seen how to use Sublime Text to write your code and to export that code to HTML. You've seen how to use the terminal to compile your program uh, using the Free Pascal compiler and how to run that program. And we've looked then at using the web browser to print your code to PDF. So with That's pretty much everything we need to be able to do. Now we can focus on what we actually do inside that program's code. And that will be what this unit's all about. So thank you very much. I hope that helps. And if you have any problems with the installation, uh, feel free to, to contact us on the discussion board, etc. All right, good luck. This has been a Spindoin production.